For the last hundred years, we have, we have used uh, primarily accessible liquid fuels that were uh, stored in the earth from, uh, from previous times. So it's, it's geological carbon that has been uh, produced by solar photochemistry and has been transformed into what we today call coal, gas, or, or crude oil. And we have transformed those. Now, into the future, we would like to use less of these because the progressed use uh, increases the carbon dioxide level. And we do not know what the carbon dioxide level does. And all the indications point to the fact that it increases the temperature at which uh, the overall climate has with, with an uncertainty and probably very likely negative effects. Now, so therefore, the, the goal must be to have a sustainable uh, energy uh, harvesting and, uh, and utilization. 80% of everything that you have uh, on, on man-made materials has seen a catalyst. Now, if you look at the catalyst market, it has about, uh, it has about four quarters. It has a petroleum industry, it has polymers, it has chemicals, and it has exhaust emission. The catalyst is any substance that makes a reaction faster uh, while it sustained itself. And catalysis research is actually to understand and improve that process. We're sponsored by the Department of Energy, therefore most of our uh, catalysis, almost all of our catalysis, concerns making energy carriers and transforming that energy carrier back to another form of energy. The energy source itself would always be the sun or indirectly the wind or we use fossil energy and convert those. And what we try to do is we try to minimize the amount of carbon uh, in forms of carbon dioxide we emit. We try to balance the energy that we put in and the energy that we get out. So maximizing that, that, that difference between, between those two. So overall, uh, optimizing our energetic hyphen CO2 footprint in, in, in an environment. What we have to understand is that we learn from nature, but we do not imitate nature. Uh, this is like flying a bird and flying a plane. Uh, you rarely flap your wings, uh, even if you sometimes think that would be a good idea to do. Uh, when you look to your own body, uh, you have uh, thousands of catalysts working in you and working together in a very narrow ten temperature in a very narrow temperature range when you when your body temperature goes up three degrees or it goes down three degrees your system doesn't work and and these catalysts don't work don't, don't communicate together what we try here through the different areas is link together individual steps into more complex reactions because that will help industry to make a process simpler I think the complexity in nature and the complexity in chemical processes is astounding. Uh, we have scratched the surface on the way we do understand these processes. And I think uh, the, uh, the fun in uh, being involved in that process is tremendous. That means it for me personally.